Okay, we are rolling. Hello. So this is your tarot reading. And there's a dog outside who's very excited that you are getting a tarot reading. Um, and uh, it's July 13th, 2018. So let me pull up your question. You are having an issue with a lawyer I hired. You're, no, you're having, an, you're, having an, you're having issue with the lawyer you hired. Um, your question is, will there be a positive outcome to this situation? And I asked, did you mean the lawyer versus the case? And you're mainly concerned about the case. So let's take a look. Um, the deck that you drew in this bag was the Smith Waite Centennial deck. So that's what we'll be using today. And then um, I used the nine digit number you gave me to draw a card for you. So um, that will be sort of like the epilogue, the guide at the end for the situation. So I'm going to put that aside for now. And um, I also use that number in a different way to draw an oracle card for you, just to set the tone of the reading. Um, I mixed together two different decks, the Gods and Titans deck and the Goddesses and Sirens deck. And you can see they're all kind of mixed together here. So let's take a look at what this is. So you got Typhon anger and rage so i don't know if that's you if that's the lawyer or if this is what the case is about but that seems to be the energy of the reading anger and rage not so fun okay so i'm gonna draw three cards for the situation One, Two, three, okay. And let's see what we're hap what's happening here. Okay, this is odd. Okay, this is really odd. All right, so I, I this is my second tarot reading of the day, and the same card. These two cards came up in the previous one, and I should say the number that I used to draw this card, um, the number you gave me turned into forty-five. So I counted through the cards to pick the 45th one out of the deck and actually the same deck the same person before you gave me a, no a completely different number but it also resolved to 45 so this is the second time 45 has come up today and now I've got very similar cards <laughs> kind of weird um, but I guess that's tarot um, okay so uh, to, to, I've laid the foundation and um, You've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Swords, and the Hermit. So what I would say is there's some sort of turn of fortune. Um, and I should say, actually, these are all pretty big cards. This is a major arcana. This is a major arcana. There's 22 of those in the deck out of 78, and you've got two of them already in the foundation. Um, these are usually about big life changes. They're not like little things that happen on, you know, one week and then you forget about them. They're, so they're significant milestones. They're usually you know, about a significant milestone in your life or a significant thing that you're working on that is la has lasting effects. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune. All the cards are right side up. So things look actually fairly good. So I would say that, you know, coming into this this case, you're it's about trying to shift fortune in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune turns up and down so it can, it can knock you down. Kind of like, um, what's his face? The, uh, um, the, 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 the Don Quixote, Don Quixote, the windmill that can like make you rise to the heavens or can knock you down. Um, so this is this is right side up for you. So it looks it's like whatever was happening uh, like coming into this case, I feel like it's meant to like change fortune for the better in some way. Um, that's the idea coming into this. Now uh, you've got the Queen of Swords for the present moment, like the one in the middle, I always think about what's going on right now. So um, the Queen of Swords is, um, well, the swords, first of all, are all about logic and reason. And in, in a way, it's actually about the law, right? If, if, you, if you had to pick one of the four suits to be law, it would be about this, because it's all intellectual, it's all mental, it's absolute, um, an excess of sword energy would be like anxiety depression when your thoughts are just out of control but you have the queen of swords um she her crown has butterflies on it and also the there are butterflies carved into her throne and butterflies are a symbol 
of transformation. So this is about how can you use um, the power of, of reason, of mental energy, of intellect, of logic to transform your situation. And the way you do that, you would do that as a queen would do that. Now, queens versus kings, a king is authoritative, is demanding, is very, it has masculine energy. A queen has feminine energy. So if a queen is going to do this in either a more passive way, meaning coming back from the situation, taking everything in, and then making strategic decisions without being in people's space. Or another way you could do it is that it would be done in a more nurturing style. Not Again, not in someone's face, but um, how can you use force, but in a nurturing way to, to, change, to change or get the outcome that you want in the current situation. Now the hermit, um, not knowing what the case is about or whatever, this could go in a number of ways. So the hermit found what he was seeking. So I think like, you know, ultimately, uh, so so hermits, you know, they go off, they meditate, they, they spend time alone because they're looking for some sort of enlightenment. So there's a, there's a star in the, um, in the lantern that he's carrying, which symbolizes, you know, what he was seeking from a spiritual enlightenment perspective. Now that spiritual enlightenment, it's in the lantern. It's not in him. So he still has more work to do, um, but he did find it. So to me, the hermit bodes well for you. Um, the, one of the other aspects of the hermit, of course, is that there is a oneness here. There is a lone, there's, there can be a, a solitariness, so that whether or not you think of solitude in a good way or loneliness in a bad way, that seems to be on the horizon as well. But positively though, you know, he got what he needed. So I think it's, I think just from a fundamental perspective, um, the immediate future is looking good for you. Now let me pull a card, because you phrased it kind of weirdly, so I'm going to pull a card for the lawyer and, and the case as well. So let's look at the energy of the lawyer right now. Um, okay, the lawyer, whoops, the lawyer. And uh, let's look at the energy of the case. Hmm. Is he infantile? <laughs> is that, um, so strangely, I got this one in the last reading too. So this is the nostalgia card. This is um, this is uh, uh, it's a well. I'll just describe it. It's a, it's a boy and a girl, and in the foreground, um, it's a boy giving a girl a cup filled with flowers. It's a very sweet image, and it's usually thought about as nostalgic. Um, because most people who are doing tower readings are not children anymore. So it's something that happened kind of in the distant past where there was, there was a definitely a kindness. Um, and if you look at the background though, there's, there's a man here carrying a spear. So real life is still going on, right? But for some reason in the forefront of the, of the scene here, there's this sort of childlike nostalgia. Now, um, to get this for a lawyer, the way I would interpret this is that, you know, does he have his head in the clouds or is he kind of like um, not in touch with reality? Like the guy with the spear, re reality wise right now, there is a man with a spear, there is a war being fought, there, the real, because why else would he be carrying a spear? So things are happening with the, in the adult world. Um, so that's why I kind of said, is he infantile? Like, is there something like, is he not in touch with what's happening in the real world? like right now and he's just kind of like wearing rose colored glasses or just kind of out of it. I don't know. That's kind of a weird, like, cause when you think lawyer, you don't think the six of cups. Um, anyway, now for the case, you did get, you got another major arcana card, but it's reversed. So, um, the hanged man is an interesting, is an interesting card. So, um, right side up for the case, I would say that really the, the hanged man has to make a sacrifice for the enlightenment. The hermit found some enlightenment here, but to, to get to the next stage of the journey here, you, the, the hermit, the hanged man often is associated with Odin. Odin chose to hang himself upside down from a tree. He gouged out one of his eyes as like an exchange for, um, a certain kind of enlightenment. And the way I always look at the hangman is that there's a, there's, a, there's a necessity to change one's perspective entirely. So I don't know if the case isn't going well right now, 
but usually this to me would be an indicator that something has to, a, a, a perspective has to completely change in order for you to progress. And it's also reversed. So the way I read reversals is that it's either something that's going to take a long time, it's delayed, or it's going to be a tough slog. Um, um, the basic meaning of a reversal for me is that the energy of the situation is blocked. So b what does blocked mean? Well, blocked means that um, it's going to be tough to have, it's going to take a long time. Things that take a long time are often tough to, tough to achieve, so they're kind of the same thing. But there's some sort of thing that's not going to be easy about this and uh, about changing the perspective of or changing the approach or changing something, some fun making the fundamental shift here. Um, but that, that seems to be what needs to happen. I'm going to draw an advice card for you. Um, let's see. It's the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So um, I would say that you need to make sure that you are giving yourself stability right now. So knights are on quests. So the quest that this knight is on, he's carrying a pentacle. So pentacles are about, um, they're about being grounded. They're about home life in terms of like providing for one's family and oneself. So having a roof over your head, having food to eat, having shelter from the weather, being warm when it's cold, like the basics. Um, if you've heard of Matt, like what's his face? I can't remember his first name, but Maslow, Maslow's needs. Um, this is about making sure that all of your fundamental needs to live are met. Um, so that's what you need to seek out right now. And since it is reversed, I would say that it is going to be tough. So that must mean that there's a lot of crap going on in your life so that that is not easy to achieve right now. But this, the advice is to get that stability and grounding in your life so that you can actually face the situation that you're, that you're meant to deal with here. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the card. This is the one that you chose and this is like to, to just pull things together and sum things up. Interesting. So the page of pentacles, um, you've got the two pages, you got, well, you got a progression here. You got the page and the knight of pentacles. So you've got two pentacles here. The progression is usually pa page, knight, queen, and then king. So again, the, the thing to sum it up is pages are, and because this is a court case, I'm going to bring in like an, a, a, a literal definition that doesn't usually happen, but this is often a message, a pa pages, because a page just is like a messenger. So one aspect of this thing tying together everything together is that you are going to receive a message or communication, an envelope full of documents or something on the level of your, the things in your life that are giving you stability. So your home, your, um, your savings, right? The money that you use to feed yourself and to put the roof over your head. Um, the, whatever, you know, whatever is basically the pragmatic things in life, food, shelter, etc. There could be a message here for you that you're going to receive or more simply, the definition that usually I use for the pages is that pages, when you compare them to the knights and the queens and the kings, they're beginners. They're the debutantes. So um, maybe you don't have a way to feel grounded yet. Maybe this is not something you do. Like you, you need to seek it out, but it's not something you've had to do in the past. You Maybe you've never had to put a roof over your own head before. Maybe you've had help via your relationship or someone else was taking care of this for you. Or um, it could just be dealing with um, keeping yourself grounded, like from a like a meditation perspective, like grounded in that way, or feeling safe. But I'd say there's something about safety, security, the pragmatics around that roof over your head, food, that area of your life right now, where you need to make a start to make sure that that is taken care of. Um, Either that or there could be some sort of message and I'm, I'm bringing that up mainly because there's a lot of documents and stuff that happen in court cases or things get revealed or messages are sent and stuff like that. So one of those two aspects and as far as I know it could be both. Um, the tarot kind of works that way. Um, is there anything else? The question was so short. I think I'll leave it there. I think that's about all the information. I can draw from these cards and I don't, without knowing more details, I don't think I want to pull more. So I hope this was useful to you and I hope everything works out for you and um, take care.